everyone welcome to fight video for the latest combat sport update let's begin with mike tyson legendary boxer mike tyson has made headlines once again but this time it's not for his action in the ring tyson who has been preparing for his anticipated bout against social media star jake paul was recently taken off a plane for medical reason the 57 years old former heavyweight champion reportedly suffered from a flare-up of an ulcer this incident has raised question about his ability to compete in the upcoming fight. The boxing community and fans worldwide are speculating on the implication of this health scare. Tyson team has reassured the public that the boxing icon is recovering well and is still committed to the fight scheduled for the later this summer. Medical experts says nothing that while also can be serious, they are manageable with the proper treatment. Tyson's condition is being monitored closely and his team is optimistic about his return to full health. Day three, Mikey Mikey, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. Whoop. Belal Muhammad finally received his well-deserved title shot against Leon Edward. Now he is pulling no punches in the mental warfare against Leon Edward. In a recent interview, Muhammad explained in the finest detail how he will take Leon Edward title at UFC 304. His plan involves mental torture, repeatedly allowing Edwards to harbor hopes of survival. He wants to break Edward and his team by repeatedly crossing their hopes. Belal want to play psychological warfare against Leon Edward. I think that I'm going to rock him really early and then I'm going to take him down and I'm, I could finish him with a TKO, but I'm just going to let him back up. Then I'm going to look to his coach and I'm going to tell his coach, yo, give him some motivational words. Let him man up, hurry up. And his coach is going to look at me and he's like, I don't know what to tell him. And then I'm just going to hit him again. Then I'm going to say, say something to him. Then I'm going to hit him again. Then I'm going to get him in a rear naked choke, probably in the first round. And then right before he's about to tap, I'm going to let him go. Then I'm going to let him breathe a little bit. Go to his corner. Hopefully his coach gives him some better advice. Second round, I'm going to take him down again. I'm going to start dominating him again. I'm going to start hitting him, elbowing him. This time, I'm looking to his brother. I'm like, bro, you're not going to come and jump in for your brother? You're not going to help your brother out? Then he's going to look at me. He's going to curse at me. He's going to swear at me. And then I'm just going to be smiling. Then I'm going to look at Leon. I'm like, right, I'm done with you. Then I'm going to finish him in the second round. In a bold statement that has caught the attention of MMA world, Featherweight champion Ilya Tuporia expressed his confidence about potential fight with bantamweight champion Sugason O'Malley. When asked about how he would fare against O'Malley, Tuporia did not hold back. He said, I can do whatever I want with O'Malley. I can just play with him. Despite acknowledging O'Malley's status, he said he is a world champion. I respect him, but he has nothing to do with me. This remarks came from the Tuporia increasing speculation about cross-division class between two world champions. Fans are eagerly waiting this high-profile match. How would you beat him, folks? <laughs> however I want. That, to be honest, however I want. I can do with him whatever I want. I can just just play with him, like, how how you want me to finish you? <laughs> it's like the same question I asked to all, that I asked to all the guys that I'm, I'm, I'm facing. I'm like, just tell me how you want me to finish it. <laughs> and I can do that. Mexican UFC featherweight contender Yayi Rodriguez recently visited Nepal and went to the base camp of Mount Everest. He shared some of the stunning photo on his Instagram which have generated significant attention. Fans are speculating that he is there for high altitude training. Training at the high altitude offers several benefits for the athlete including increasing red blood cell production, it improves oxygen efficiency, lead to the great stamina and endurance. Breathing in the thin air strengthens the muscle involved in the respiration. Athletes can increase their maximum oxygen uptake, which is crucial for the peak performance. Yeah, you're going the right way. Former UFC BMF champion George Masvidal predicts UFC 302 main event Poirier vs Makachev. Masvidal has expressed his belief that Dustin Poirier has the ability to knock out Islam Makachev and win that lightweight title. Masvidal highlighted Dustin Poirier's superior boxing skill as a key factor that could lead up his victory over Makachev. But, uh, we got Dustin coming up versus Islam and... Uh fired up for that one because he's a big un he's a big underdog and uh fuck that'd be a fairy tale story if he gets it done bro mm -hmm. especially against you know somebody that, that stylistically is, is not his fate his best yeah. matchups you know the guys uh the wrestle grapple you know 
as everybody knows, Dustin's my brother and teammate for mm-hmm. over 10 years, so I'm 100% going for Dustin. But I know this is a tough fight for him, you know. I know it's not going to be no walk in the park, but, man, I just have this feeling he pulls it off, bro. He just makes that home run. He catches Islam. Ooh. He puts him down. He hits him while he's on the ground, fights over, and he walks Jeez. over with that fucking count on his shoulder. That's, that's what I'm going for. 